I know it's not gonna like catch on fire. The next one is in this big barn. Because I'm cultured. <laughs> so. We did some damage at that barn sale. She's a little worked up right now. My mom and I are about to head out the door to some of the last garage sales of the season. We didn't get to as many this summer as I would have liked, but I'm excited to be going this morning. We'll see what we can find and bring you along. And then if there's nothing good at the garage sales, we'll try out an antique store. Okay, we'll be back in a little bit, okay? You take a little nap or something? <laughs> okay. Frames are cute, Mom. Don't care for the artwork, but the frame is very cute. And there's two of them. This trunk is really nice, too. Look at how pretty that is. Love the wood slats on top. Yeah, we didn't find anything at that one, but it does look like they replaced every single light fixture in their house Good for them. because they were all laying there on the ground and those definitely needed replacing, so it was the right call. The next one is in this big barn. How pretty is this? What do we think of this runner? It's like, okay, I feel like. There are things I like about it, but it's, you know, not like 100%. But there are a lot of rugs here. Lots to see. Let's see what we can find. Baskets? Oh yeah. These are really cute. I also really love this one because these look so cute with like florals in them hanging on the front door instead of a wreath. I think this is so cute. Really, really, really love this artwork. I love that it's long and skinny, that it's watercolor of like a city's like town skyline situation. I love this little guy too. I saw something like this at At Home like earlier this year. So I have to live with this, it's only a dollar. This bowl is really nice, maybe for like salad or something, or even just decorating seasonally. You could put like pine cones or Christmas ornaments in it or something like that. Also, how pretty is the like scallop detail on this dish? It's a little small, it's not, it's kind of cobweb. It's not quite like a dish you could eat out of. Maybe like a small vase or, I don't know, what would you use that for? There's two of them. Some planters, that one's nice for 15. Huge terracotta pot. This one's not bad either for 15. Look at this massive light. I feel like that would be pretty. Can you like kind of picture it? I feel like it'd be pretty if you painted this maybe. It's not bad. There's lots of furniture here. Table, chairs. Let's go look at that stuff up there. This lamp isn't half bad. It's definitely not old or antique. It's like a new thing just made to look old, you know? But it's not bad. That's really cute. Check the lamp, we're gonna find out how much it is. What's up here? If you're into the whole blue and white, then that's kind of nice. The kitchen. We did some damage at that barn sale. It was, there were lots of really nice things in there. Um, and I will do a haul at the end <laughs> of everything that we got. But yeah, I'm very excited about a couple of those things. What do you think, Mom? Yes, I'm excited about my punch bowl. Mom got a really nice big punch bowl. Because um, mine recently broke, so I was able to replace. And then also the solid maple wood little vintage old antique table on wheels. Yeah, so we'll show you all that in a little bit. At another garage sale, and I thought this little guy was cute. Just 
like up on a shelf as decor in an office or something. I'm just obsessed with brass. We know this. This little guy. It's kind of cute. These are really cute if you like paint them a different color and put them on either side of some artwork in an entryway or something like that. These can look so, so cool. Some artwork. Always love going through the artwork. It's a lady. There's so many different ones here. They're all something different. I wonder if they have a pretty landscape. Hmm, this is like really autumn. Look at that. Wow. Look at this one. That's beautiful. Mm. I'm taking that. That's so pretty. later and I'm here to share everything that we got at the garage sales. I'm very happy with the things that I found. This was a very good way to end off the year. So this is an item that I got. So it's just like a little wooden bowl that has this like enamel coating on the inside. It was a dollar and I think that is just so nice and an entryway is like a catch-all. Could even be like a soap dish maybe because of this enamel like coating in it. I just thought it was really pretty. I saw some of these at at home earlier this year and I really like the style so I was very happy to have found that. Two of these little guys these were a dollar for both those are always just handy I'm gonna clean them really well and then yeah I mean you can use them pretty much anywhere always always looking out for antique brass and I recently or over the summer I passed up a really big brass sailboat like doorstop and so when I saw this tiny one I was like well it's not a doorstop but this could live on my shelf and I just I love that so much I think it is so pretty this was like three bucks this lamp was only $2 and I really liked the shape. It's definitely not old, which I almost prefer with lighting. I prefer for it to be new so that I know it's wired well and works, um, but it's made to look old. So get the old look, but it's new and I know it's not gonna like catch on fire. Um, but I plugged it in and it does work. Then I got this kind of like panorama watercolor of the um, of a skyline of a town and I just loved all of the pretty soft colors in it and the buildings. I just thought that that was really pretty and it's special on the back. Somebody in their handwriting wrote out what each building was and one of them says the rectory East Hill our house. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or if it's going to be backwards but there's like precious writing on the back of it. Um, this is of a town somewhere in Essex. Well, it's, I guess it's, oh no, I'm not gonna say the name of the town because I'm just gonna butcher, butcher it and embarrass myself. <laughs> also got this really beautiful artwork, these prints. This one with the daisies I really love. Daisies are, I think, inherently like a spring and summer flower, but something about this just gave me fall vibes. Maybe it was like the pretty mustard in here and that the sky is a little bit gloomy, but I almost feel like this has a little bit of a fall feel to it, but obviously could also be good for spring and summer. My kitten is here being absolutely crazy. Are you gonna come say hi? She's a little worked up right now. This one is definitely very fall, just so pretty. There's like a little boy drinking out of like a little spring uh, and a sheep, some sheep dogs, and it goes all the way back to show some fields and pastures and even like a little town in the background. I thought that was really beautiful. And then this one is my mom's. Those two are gonna be mine, but my mom picked out this one, which I think is also so beautiful. Just like a little path by a river with some trees. There aren't any, there's no information on them. Well, actually this one says, this one, kitten. <laughs> she is running around like crazy right now. Are you well? Come here, come say hi. Oh, you're gonna, you gonna play? Okay. <laughs> this one says, um, John Co Constable, landscape, oil on canvas, National Ga Gallery, London, England. So obviously it's a print of that original painting. Oh, they all do. Or the, the daisies don't have that information, but this one says, 
Claude Monet. Oil on canvas, Paris, France. So that's clearly a print of that beautiful painting. I thought I had recognized that one, honestly, because I'm cultured. <laughs> so. I loved these two beautiful dishes. My mom said that they would be really great as candy dishes for Christmas. Do you put candy dishes out in your house? I think that that is such a nice thing to like somewhere in your entryway where your guests are sure to walk through, have a little candy dish. And if they are feeling peckish, they can grab a little candy. Or since there's two of them and I have a kitten now, I was like, what if these are her food and water bowls? Like, look at how pretty that is. Then I just hit myself in the face with it. I loved this basket. Um, it's on the smaller side, but I think it'll still work really well to hang on a front door with some fall foliage in it. And um, I'm planning on doing that with this one and I will share that in a reel when I get to doing that. I have some pompous grass in the mail right now that I'm waiting for. And then you can switch it out seasonally and always just have this as like kind of a unique wreath on your door. Or you could even just, if you didn't want to hang it physically on your door, you could still set it on a table and do that by um, just having some foliage coming out of it. And then I got this little pumpkin. It's just like a soft little pumpkin. It's got a little patch, but like if something has, not that I hate the patch, but if I wasn't in the mood for the patch, um, you can always just face it to the back, you know what I mean? And I don't know, this <laughs> caught me off guard. I didn't think I was gonna get this. And I was like, what if I leave it and don't, and regret it? I don't know, I just thought it was, cute and then I got this also <laughs> as like a fall decor item it came with a little scarecrow which I will show you the scarecrow that it came with and I bought the scarecrow for three dollars just to get his little pitchfork because I thought that this was really cute obviously it's really small but just imagine it like you know around with some of your fall decor <laughs> like on a porch probably most likely put this on the front porch um and work it into some like fall porch decor somehow. But my mom also got the cutest little wooden, like almost tea cart table. It definitely needs a little bit of love because it definitely had some like sort of border or edge to it at some point that was removed. So there's just like screw holes, but we could fill those in and either paint the little table or stain it. And it's on wheels, which was really nice. That was only eight bucks. And let me show you in the dining room the things that my mom got. My mom was very happy to find this punch bowl because her punch bowl broke recently. And um, she was very happy that it came with a lid. The ladle is like really like beefy. It came with all of these pretty cups, which I think these are more cups than she had with her other punch bowl. So she was happy with that kind of like upgrade. We use little dishes like this for like snacks and stuff all the time. So she got a couple of those. She got this mug. I don't know if that was meant for her or a gift for somebody, but she got that cute little mug. It was really nice like baking dish. I loved how like flat this was and wide. You just usually don't see them that way. Um, and a couple of puzzles because my Opa loves to puzzle. So he's getting those. 